This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. So let's go through and continue our journey looking at the measurement of provisions under IIS 37. We've gone through and looked at the best estimate of the expenditure, but what happens if that provision is settled at a date in the future? That means when we look at it in today's present value terms, it is materially different. If that's the case, we need to recognise the provision at its present value. How do we do that? Well, let's go through and have a look at the example. Uh, it says here, within the scenario, uh, it says to go through and to calculate the amounts to be recognised in the financial statements. So again, financial statements, we're looking at the SFP, the statement of profit or loss, for the year ended the 31st of December 2018. Okay, so that's our year end. Uh, we're looking at HR Co. Uh, what are we told? Uh, we were told that on the 1st of July 2018, so halfway through the current year, uh, a former employee brought about a legal claim for unfair dismissal. So is it probable that we're going to lose it? If that's the case, we need to provide for it. There we go. Probable that HR will lose the case, resulting in a payment of $495,000. So you go, there you go, right, yep. Yeah. Uh, the amount to be recognised in the financial statement is $495,000. Okay. Read on, be careful. We're told that payment is on the 30th of June, 2019. So that's one year prior to when the provision, or sorry, one year after when the provision should be made. So this is why we need to be careful. Because what we've got is if we look at the information within the question, uh, if we go with our dates, 1st of July 2018, uh, 30th of June 2019, and then bang in the middle, is our 31st of December 18 year end date. And we need to be able to calculate the amounts in the financial statements on that year end date. Let's put some information in. Uh, so what we have there is at the 30th of June 2019, the provision is $495,000, isn't it? We need to recognise the provision. Before we think about what happens at the reporting date, we need to recognise the provision at the 1st of July 2018. Why? Because that's when we were notified. Okay, uh, That was when uh, the employee brought about the legal claim. It's like, right, we need to work out how much it's going to be. Quick, let's speak to the legal team. Uh, so what we need to go through and do is that 495000 We need to discount to present value. At what rate? Well, we're told here we have a cost of capital at 10%. So that's your discount rate. Fear not. The examiner takes pity on you. I know a lot of you are no good at being able to calculate discount factors. Uh, but a one-year discount factor at 10% is 0.9091. It will be given to you within the exam. Criminal, I know, but that's the way we are. Uh, so what you've got there. You take the 495,000, uh, you multiply it by 0 0.9091. So that gives you, is it 450,000? So the nearest thousand dollars. Okay, I'm just keeping it nice and simple. Okay, I think it's not exactly 450,000, uh, it's 450,000 and a smidgen more. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what we go through and do is you would debit your statement of profit or loss. I could hear you shouting at me, Chris, no, it's an expense. So you debit the statement of profit or loss, so well shouted out. And we credit the provision with how much? The 400 And 50,000. Okay, but that is the what we've recognized 
the 1st of July 2018. Uh, the expense in profit or loss probably just goes through your, your operating expenses, isn't it? Okay. Everybody happy with that and the fact we've discounted it back because it's materially different? Boom. Excellent. Now we need to think about the reporting date, December 2018. Because what we've got there is that provision of 400 and 50,000, we need to go through there and do a process which is referred to as unwinding the discount. We know what the provision is on the 1st of July, but what should it be at the 31st of December 18, six months later? So what we've got to go through and do that is we're going to unwind the discount. Again, we're going to use the 10%. So we're going to charge some interest on top of the 450,000. So we've got the 450,000. We're going to take 10% and multiply it by 6 twelfths. Why 6 twelfths? Because the 1st of July to the 31st of December is six months. So that works out. If you tap it on your calculator, is it at 22,500? That's the amount that we need to increase the provision by. So what we're going to go through and do is this is where you just need to be a little bit careful now. Oh, careful. Gone too far. Let's go back. There we go. So we've got the 22,500. We need to increase the provision by that amount. So credit the provision with the 22,500. So what that now means is that on the SFP, at our reporting date, the provision should be Four seven two five hundred. Where's that come from? I hear you ask. It's the four fifty plus the twenty two five hundred. This is then where you need to be careful because yes, we need a debit to make it balance of twenty two thousand five hundred. Yes, it goes to the statement of profit or loss, but this is the unwinding of the discount. So when we've discounted it back to present value, we've worked out the provision at 450. We need to grow it back up to the 495 in one year's time. So we're going to do that by charging interest on the provision. So therefore, it is a finance cost. So do not put that 22,500 through your operating expenses. It goes through finance costs. If you put it through operating expenses, you will lose marks. The key there is that the debit is to your finance costs on the statement of profit or loss. And again, debits increase your expenses, don't they? There we go. So what you're going to have is a provision of 472500 which appears, is it on the statement of financial position? And then on your statement of profit or loss, you're going to have 22500 appearing there so we have therefore calculated the amounts in the financial statements being the sfp at was it four seven two five hundred and profit or loss at twenty two thousand five hundred where does it go yes finance costs well done uh and that's the, the 31st of december 2018 okay everybody happy with that fantastic uh, if you're interested, all you would then go through and do in that period from December 18 to June 19, you would just go through and charge another amount of 22500 to finance costs, increase the provision by the same amount. And then what you should get to is you should get to a provision of 495000 at June 19. And then when the payment is made, you credit the bank and debit the provision with the 495000 that wasn't asked for within the question, but I just thought I'd add it in there to add a little bit of value to the scenario. Other than that, that is as complicated as what it would get within a question of this nature.